Welcome to our home. Come on, have a look around. Come on in. So, this is the hallway. Before we go down that way, this is the, the little relaxation evening room. This is definitely my favourite room. Um, so this is the lounge, very, very neutral, because I really wanted it as like the calm space. Got my fairy lights, the linen, I mean these drove you a bit insane, didn't they? Because they they're basically see-through, so. They do seem like <laughs> the most pointless curtains ever. Yeah. The time that we come in this room would be in the evenings, we come, we sit, we watch TV. Not that we're massive TV when people. We're massive TV we people. We are massive TV people. Sometimes a bit of dinner on our laps. <laughs> On the white sofa, the there terrifying. are a couple of marks there. So we absolutely love the fireplace. Yes. This, this is, is yeah, an on. original feature. Is it sandstone? We yeah. absolutely love it. We were thinking of kind of changing it, getting them more modern, but we, no, we yeah, love the originality. We were. We were. But then I just couldn't like say goodbye to it. I loved it and also it just matched all the neutral vibes. Like it's basically identical colour to the sofa and the sideboard. <laughs> like it, it was meant to be. Definitely. We have the piano, which we absolutely love. I've played piano my whole life until about five years okay. ago when we bought the piano. We've got little nursery rhymes, that's about I all I can play this now. Is... This chair has been much debate. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is my chair. The James and we've had chair. much debate about whether we should no longer have the James chair. Look, it's a really, really comfy chair. I've grown to love it. But it just wasn't quite, you know, matching it's, the it's neutral my vibes. It's chair. It was yeah. just a bit old man -y. Wasn't it? It's how you feel on the inside. I know. Not how you look that is so you. <laughs> and then we come back through to the hall. So, should we do in here? So, so, this is the nursery. No playroom. Oh, why do I always call? <laughs> he literally just whispered to me. We were just about to Yeah, so this is Amber's playroom. When we first moved in, it was like kind of set up as well. It was set up as a study. It was, but, but it would be the like formal dining room. Yeah, it, it would have been a dining room. With this space, we weren't really sure what we wanted to no. do with it. We just decided there were so many toys, it would be the perfect place to kind yeah. of have a playroom. I we put it all on yeah. my own. When I was pregnant, I was so yeah. proud of that. I was like, you go. I, I am not the biggest fan of painting. And you painted it. Yeah. And this colour, I will shadow white, isn't it, by Flower yeah. and Ball. I only say that because it's definitely one of the most asked questions that we get about the house. It's the same mm -hmm. colour in the lounge as it is in here. Um, and yeah, it's called Shadow White. And it is just that really nice kind of like off-white beigey colour. And I love it. I feel like it just adds a bit of something to the room. It's so nice to be able to st at least store everything away in here. Hide and to toys come like in. this. Who you know? Amber into Elmo? Me. You. I really Sesame got to the Street. bottom of why... I did used to love Sesame Street. Did you? Yeah. I never watched Sesame Street. Which definitely got big thoughts of this room, kind of when she starts getting a little bit older. Mm. What were we thinking? An obstacle course? Yeah. With some crafts table. Messy you know, play. And keep the dining table in the kitchen nice and clean. Yeah, That's hopefully. The Should we go around kitchen. this way or this way? We'll show it. Let's go back through the, the hall yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. So, hallway. And then we have the stairs. I'm telling you things that you can see. Staircase, <laughs> door. These stairs go upstairs. <laughs> Do you not want to Wait, show your... Wait, should we go in here? Radiant to cover. The hallway is one of your favourite places in the house and you've just flown past it. The hallway yeah. is definitely one of my favourite places in the house. Um, we I spend like... a lot of time here. <laughs> we chill out, just... we relax. It's a key part of just the family vibe. When you're looking for a house, some people think a hallway is like a waste of space. And then some people like me, if it's got a big hallway, I'm like, perfect. It's a bit like a car. Some people leave yeah. a car should just get you to A to B. Yeah. And other people, they want to enjoy the journey. That's right. And you like I to enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. <laughs> I want the extended journey. I just love the long, kind of pointless, waste of space hallway, but it just makes me happy. It's not a waste of space if it brings a smile to your face. <laughs> So I did build my own radiator cover last summer it's during lockdown. Sitting around the side of the house. Yeah, it had to go. It was dangerous. I had nails poking out of it. It was wobbly. <laughs> Look, it was a lockdown thing. I thought this is it. I'm going to be a carpenter. I bought tools. I bought wood. I did one carpentry job, and then I said, Look, I'm not going to be a carpenter. <laughs> I love the hooks that I won't even let anyone hang anything on because we've got a utility where we put coats, so people put them there, and I'm like, Sorry, that's not actually for coats. <laughs> Just aesthetic hooks because I'm just that really annoying person <laughs> talking for about 15 minutes about a hallway 
Um, okay, so let's move on. Yeah. Should we go into here? Should we do the utility? Yeah, let's go into here. Go in, put on the light. Ooh. Do you want to talk about the utility room? You're pretty good with this kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Go on, I'll let you do this. This actually took us ages to design, wasn't it? So this used to, the whole thing used to be the internal garage. We couldn't decide, we were thinking of like bringing the whole floor up. Anyway, this is what we came to and we absolutely love it. We actually have a um, black lab and she gets very muddy mm -hmm. and she likes rolling in lots of smelly things on her dog walks, which is why we have our dog bath. <laughs> so right. Harris um, decided that a dog bath was the way to go. And I was a bit skeptical at the start, but to be fair, it has come in so handy. And literally the other day she rolled in, I think it was um, Big Roast to say a dead bird. So that did absolutely sink. Coming around the corner here, we have a bench. And they did initially both have doors like this on, but Kara's jammed so many trainers <laughs> in her side of the under storage kind of stuff that the door fell off. I mean, there. you just overflowed yours to here. Also <laughs> wasn't enough space in my under bench. Yeah, so. <laughs> Into the kitchen. This is our big kind of kitchen diner space. In the very original part of the house, the kitchen would have kind of ended here. Luckily for us, the previous owners did this lovely extension where we wanted to put our own stamp in it. So we put in a new kitchen, new tiles, new flooring. Yeah. We absolutely love this space. We love it. I love the roof line. I love the height of the roof, I love the skylights, yeah. I just love the whole feel of this kitchen. It's the most used space oh. in the house by far, like no matter how mm. much we try yeah. <laughs> to congregate in other areas of the houses when we have friends over, especially if I have yeah. like, you know, a mum's meeting with all yeah. the babies, I'm like, right, this is it, we're going to meet <laughs> in the playroom this time, we're going to spend some time in the playroom with the yeah. toys, no, the it toys are there. Previous owners had like a U-shaped kitchen, so it kind of started about where our hob is and it kind of did a U-shape. And when we were designing our kitchen with our kitchen fitters, they mm. suggested doing this kind of big mm. step down window. And at first we were like, oh, it's, it's a bit yeah. of a strange, like, do you want to do it? Do you want to spend money on kind of making the window bigger? But it was surprising how it wasn't actually considerably more to kind of do that little bit of work. And we love how it opens up yeah. the space. I love putting all my vases. I am. Um... You may notice addicted to vases. There's literally about 87 yeah. vases around the whole house. And then my other favorite feature of the kitchen um, is the uh, hot water taps. People either love it or are absolutely terrified of yeah. it. I think it's a perfectly safe mechanism to it. <laughs> it is quite safe. I don't know do. My parents can't use no. it, okay? And this they is true. have many years of life experience. No, it seems simple, but you'd have to have a go to really see if you could get it to work. So it's like, dump, bum, bum, and then comes out boiling. I'm, I'm a teapot. <laughs> I just can't stop drinking tea and coffee. Ten. Like, I'm yeah. not even being dramatic. Ten cups of tea a day. We do have some American viewers on our YouTube channel who get very confused when we say American style fridge freezers. Just to them, it's just like, a fridge freezer. That's just a fridge freezer and if yeah. anything, a very small one. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's just tiny. But we were just desperate to have our, our water and ice. It was the, very exciting. But the water pressure is actually quite slow in it. it is so, it's quite. In the bottle, right? You'll get there eventually. And I just go to the tap then. Yeah. People get very confused about oh, where yeah. our cutlery drawers are. Yeah. They can never find our cutlery. Here's and a it's good because example. it's because they're hidden. They're hidden. There hidden you go. drawers. You showed another one there. I know. Um, yeah, and then down there we have like the sofa area and everything like that, and then we'll move through. So that's the whole of the downstairs we've done there. I know. Woo. Time to head up. Wanna chat about the stairs quick? Oh, oh true. You absolutely love our runner coming yes. up. Yes! I'd always dreamed of having a runner. Yeah. Very jazzy. <laughs> it's lush and I love the like height here as you come up the stairs. At the top here we have the bathroom. Um, so again, this is something that we did pretty quickly after moving in. We were <laughs> desperate to fit a bath in. Yes. For bathing amber is really helpful and just, you know, the one bath a year that we have, we thought the oh. bath was essential. We are definitely massive shower people, aren't we? We are, yeah. Having a baby on the way when we did the bathroom, yeah. we obviously had to put a bath in. Yeah. And kids. she uses it. Loads Every of. night she uses it. And the mirror. I love this. <laughs> it's very jazzy. It's really make it very jazzy for us. And then through this way we have the bedroom. This is our master bedroom. Yes. It actually took us a really long time to move into this room. Yeah. It's funny how when you buy a house you think I'm going to do all this work and then you move in and you live in it for six months yeah. or a year and you're like actually we don't need like to. we love the house you yeah. don't need to do that work. Yeah we did like a kind of 
initial transformation yes. when we first we, we painted it we did everything like that um but now we're going to be doing a few more things yes. to it um like we're having some built-in wardrobes done we're having a built-in window seat by here i've awesome. always dreamed of having a window seat um it's going to turn into another dog bed we're just going to be doing like a bit more of an interior yeah. kind of like yeah. revamp of the room and the booming um, guys you yeah, guys who are here that. with us today but tell us about a really cool feature which yeah. we're really excited to give it's a like go. It's like an interactive mood board style thing where you can like yeah. plan different things. So yeah, we're gonna go through that with them now. Property playground for grown-ups. This honestly sounds like your dream. I know. Oh my days. I know. You spent so far too long kind of um, looking yeah, at the Yeah, any interior inspo. Let's do okay. bedrooms because yeah. obviously we're looking to do the bedroom. Okay. See what we got here. Oh, I see. That's nice. So you can like literally favorite things as you go. So if you click that heart, then does it like yeah. favorite it? And then what happens if you? Uh, oh. So you can save it to one of your collections. Okay. So yeah, we've got one okay, thing favorite. Okay, that's in there. Oh. Got, oh. oh, look, stair storage. Oh. <laughs> we're well, moving we're, on. We're moving on to stair storage. That's definitely that's something what we we'd want. love to do. So I think we're getting some fitted wardrobes in our bedroom. So shall we see what kind of? Why can't I type properly? What kind of ideas they have? See, they're all so cool, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah, they're all nice. Oh, so this is it, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fitted shaker bedrooms. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so then it shows you who does it. Cutting edge joinery. So, oh, so yeah, I think this is what the booming guys were saying, is that you can kind of find the inspiration. Yeah. And then also you Find can source it, so you can actually from. have people come out and make it for you. And then more from cutting edge joinery, so you can kind of have a little look Oh through. my gosh, this is what I spend hours doing, is finding things yeah. and then finding people that do it. And awesome. now I just want That's everything so that they make. Our cup of tea, look at that. Wardrobes, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay. So we so, definitely save that, wouldn't we? That's like bang on what we want, basically. I feel like with things online, a lot of the time, like you'll see pictures on multiple sites, or like yes. multiple people have used that picture, and you're like, where did this, who actually stuck, like whose product is this, yeah. whose creation was this? I love this it? idea. We love this kind of style, don't we? Yeah, but literally, like, you could like design your whole house. That's gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is They're also lovely on the stunning. So, this bedroom is Amber's bedroom. Amber! Amber. Got this little sign when I was pregnant and I was so excited to just create this space. It took us ages, didn't it, to configure yeah. this room? We rearranged it in yeah. loads of different ways um, and this seemed to be the way that we just kept yeah. getting obsessed with. Um, this little rocking chair I love. I feed Amber on this every night. Three it's times a night. The night. <laughs> no, honestly, I love it. I used to just sit here with my big belly and like wait yeah. and just be like, oh, so excited for it to come. And I just love how different this mm -hmm. room feels to the rest of the house because obviously, yeah, it's a lot more kind of yeah. like cutesy, it's like feel good rather than my like very neutral yeah. areas of the house. I was so skeptical at first when you wanted to do the bottom half white and the top half. Yeah. It's meant to be like a stone colour, isn't it? But it yeah. definitely looks pink. Yeah. But yeah, but it works it out works really, really well. And then someone said that it looked like a squashy sweet, which is half pink, half white. You oh, know the words? Oh, I never. And I, I never, could not get out of my head. It's still, but I like that. Yeah, perfect It could size. be a squashy sweet, yeah. yeah. And then all your stickers. You love a oh, good sticker, don't you? And I did get very carried away with the wall stickers, and everyone was like, you put too many you on. You can never have too many stickers. Thank you. She yeah. hasn't complained yet, anyway. She hasn't. Like, she she's obviously happy thinks there's yeah. the right amount of wall stickers. She sleeps pretty well, so yeah. she's good under the stars and clouds. She sleeps well, according to you. She slept for the night from the last. Five months. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is your yeah. domain, so I'll leave you go yeah. off. This is my room <laughs> that I fill with so much clutter. Um, so this is, essentially it was created as a filming room, which is originally why I built these, well, I had built these big uh, wardrobes. I'm not gonna open any of them because things are just gonna come flying out because everything is just crammed in there. But they are just push open, which I really liked because I wanted it to look quite seamless, like a panelled wall. So obviously you'd be able to create content in front of and everything like that. This is James's grandma's um, dressing table that she used to use every day. And yeah. we transformed her dressing well, you table. you did, you're yeah. very handy to be fair. Like the older pieces are always really sturdy. They're such good yeah. quality and obviously it has such a nice meaning to it as well. So I love Love this piece of furniture. There are mirrors everywhere in this house, I must say. Yeah. This house is full of mirrors and massive windows. Yeah. It's the two big things in this house. So yeah, this is my dressing room and content creating room. So that is the end of our house tour. Thank you so much for coming around with us guys. We hope you enjoyed. If you want more of Karis and me, 
Come and join us on our YouTube channel, which is James Aaron Karras. We do hour long boring vlogs if that's what you're into. <laughs> and I've also got an Instagram, which is busybee.karras. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Thank, Thank you, you for Bye. <laughs>